it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm going to show you today my thought process when it comes to picking beers to review on the channel. I've just reviewed two best bitters from bestofbritishbeer.co.uk and now I'm looking at two stouts. When I'm looking to review a beer, I'll always make a number of decisions. Lighter beers first, stout at the end is generally one of them. Then I go with ABV. Is this beer 4.2? This best bitter? Yeah, let's review that first. Is the next bitter 4.5? Okay, we'll review that next. Because you don't generally know one might be better than the other one, but generally, as a rule, you go by colour, lighter first beers to review, and then ABV. And that's kind of like, that's just a little kind of a guide in, in reviewing beer, unless you're reviewing sour beer, of course, that can be that can be a 3% beer, and you can review that after a stout if you like. But anyway, here's, a, here's my thought process today. So I have a beer from Staffordshire Brewery in Leek, and this is their Black Grouse Stout, coming in at 4.5% ABV. I was just looking at it and I'm thinking, right, okay, we've got a Handlands Brewery Port Stout at 4.8% ABV. Both beers from bestofbritishbeer.co.uk. I had a parcel recently. And of course, I've never tried these two beers before. Never tried them. Looking forward to trying, trying them. And, and my instinct tells me to go, right, let's put this away for a moment. This will be on the channel shortly if you want to have a look at that. And let's go with the 4.5% ABV. Slightly lower, not much in, in, in the way of it. But let's go with this. 500ml bottle, gold bottle cap, dark brown bottle. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Ooh, look at that. I do love a stout. I do really love a stout, actually. Beer in the glass, no widget in the bottom of this one. Oh, look at this, doesn't this look delightful? Doesn't that look delightful? My goodness me, what a really lovely, well-behaved beer poured into the glass there. Jet black beer in the glass, two finger, tan coloured head. That looks wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Let's get the aroma on the beer then. Oh yes, yes, yes. In terms of looking at the beer, looking at the, I mean, I like to say if it's clear or if it's hazy it's quite difficult with a stout but there seems to be no sediment in the bottom of the glass and there is a certain shine you've got a little bit of light bleeding through the glass which it looks like a bright pitch black it's pitch black but if there's any light it looks quite bright to look at so I'm gonna say that it's a clear not a bottle condition stout. There's no sediment in the beer. The aroma's lovely. Roasty, toasty, biscuity and bready. <sighs> I just... I found my passion again. I found my passion again. And it's, it's these great bottled beers from around the UK. It really is. I've done the whole New England IPA thing. I started to get really bored by it. Ah, oh, but these beer, how can you get bored with a beer that's got an aroma like this? It's got my, I'm salivating. It's got my glands going. Let's get in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that is beautiful. It's, 
it's quite drinkable actually for a 4.5% ABV stout. It's got quite a refreshing feel to it. Oh, blimey. The roastedness on the back end, it just keeps tickling your palate. It just keeps rubbing and tickling your palate. This lovely kind of slow roasted flavour. Nutty, biscuity, bready, hoppy, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. A little tickle of carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of the flavour. That it, it, it's it's a little hoppy, it's a little plum and prune like in terms of the flavour. The roasted malt then comes through. You're getting a little bit of bitter dark chocolate, a little bit of coffee flavour coming through. A little bit of sweet caramel really 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 good really good there we go look at that so quality handcrafted ale brewed the traditional way this is from Cheddleton Leak in Staffordshire. They've even they put a telephone number on the side of the box. I love that. Oh, it's brilliant. It's like 1993 all over again. Yes, you can visit their website and probably order their beer, but they, you can phone them up too if you want and say, hey, this black grouse stout is great. Can I order some more? You know, it's that sort of thing. I might even give them a tinkle myself. I might even phone them up when the review's up and say if you had a little look at the video I've made for you. Why not? Likelihood is you're going to meet somebody new and you're going to spend 45 minutes on the telephone. That's what usually happens. People are always grateful. People are always grateful when you review their beer. Um, the brewing industry, we all know, it, it's never been the most, like, you don't see many brewery owners driving around in Ferraris. You know, it, it, it's very much hands-on, pays your mortgage type of thing you know you're never going to get rich quick if you open up a brewery it's all about the passion it's all about the love of producing great beer like this so the beer come from bestofbritishbeer.co.uk fantastic online uh, bottle shop type place where you it's a subscription service. It's, you pay a three month or a one month subscription, whatever you fancy doing. Um, that then gives you access to beers that come through your door. Like, let's look at this Handland, Handland's Brewery Port. Never heard of it. Never, never heard of it. Um, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> I might have heard of the Black Grouse Stout. Might have heard of that one. Um, not tried it yet, but again. You're trying beers from different breweries that, that you may have never heard of. You know, I'm not a I'm not AI. I'm not I'm not a machine. Like I, I'm never gonna know every single brewery that, that has ever existed or is going to exist going forward. There's always gonna be breweries out there that I've never heard of. And that's the point. That's the point of these places, these best of British beers, you know, every month you get a surprise through the door. It's like Christmas every month coming through. Um, six to ten lovely beers that come through the door every month, which, yeah, look, look, I'm not even, I'm just rubbing my hands with joy just thinking about it. Um, so check it out. There's a link in the description box of the video for bestofbritishbeer.co.uk. Let's, uh, Let's rate this one then. Look at the beer. After eight minutes, look at the way the, 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 the head retained itself. Good, good, lovely lacing as you roll the beer back and forth. Carbonation's chasing the head of the glass. It's, it, it's a lovely stout. Smells good. Tastes good. Mm. 4. 4.5. You know, I'm going to tuck away on a Friday night. I'm going to tuck away about five bottles of that, to be honest with you. Yeah, good stuff. Nine out of ten. 
9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.